Hey there, Blowhard fans, Rebecca Hadlock here, and today's Blow Your Mind Update launches a three-part series all about batteries. And today we'll simply focus on battery specs and how to read and understand your batteries. Now we've talked about how performance of PPV fans have three major components, their airstream size, entrainment abilities, and their power. And since these batteries are your power, what you put in your fan directly affects its performance. Now, Blowhard actually started out as experts in the field of batteries, and it's why we've always engineered our own. And we'll get into integrated batteries in our next video. But for those of you who are interested in hot swappables, we've created a fan called the Hottie that uses batteries like DeWalt and Milwaukee. So let's get into understanding those today. And don't worry, this is an overview of basic math. So if you are a battery geek, you'll see that we're not getting into the deep nitty gritty. Now we have all of these terms, volts, watts, watt hours, amps, and amp hours. And what do these all mean? Well, two important terms are power, which are your watts, and capacity, which actually combines power and time. And that's your watt hours. And you get your watts by combining volts times amps. And you get your watt hours by combining volts times amp hours. And you'll see these numbers on your battery. For example, here's a Milwaukee battery designed as 18 volts. And over here, you'll see six amp hours. So 18 volts times the six amp hours gives you 110 watt hours. And that's your battery capacity or power and time. This means that this battery supplies 110 watts for one hour. Now this next part is important to understand. If you have a device or a tool that's designed or set to draw more power, say 440 watts, then you are drawing four times the capacity of that battery. And we call that 4C, which in this case, your runtime would decrease by four times as well. So the more power you draw on a battery gives you less runtime, and the less power you draw gives you a longer runtime. So let's see what this 110 watt hour battery looks like in a visual. So the 110 watt hour capacity means 110 watts for one hour. So if a device is designed to draw 220 watts, this would be two times its capacity and runtime would be about a half an hour. But if the device was designed to draw less power at 50 watts or half the capacity, then the runtime would be two hours. Now, larger batteries can provide more of each. And both Milwaukee and DeWalt provide a 12 amp hour version, which is a capacity of 220 watt hours. So let's see this in a visual. So already starting off at a higher capacity, those 220 watts now give us the hour. If the device draws two times the capacity at 440, then the runtime would be a half hour. But if a device draws only 110 watts or half the capacity, we'd get two hours of runtime. And here's a last example of using two 220 watt hour batteries, giving us 440 watts for one hour. If the device draws two times the capacity, it would be drawing 880 watts, but only a half an hour of runtime. A device that draws only 240 watts would deliver two hours. Now, when manufacturers list their runtimes, they use two of these larger batteries as their default, which makes sense because they want to list that one hour runtime. But now you also have the knowledge to identify the power the manufacturer is using to operate their fan. And remember, power is a big part of performance. So if you use two 220 watt hour batteries providing 440 watt hours, and your fan runs on high for one hour, then you know your fan was created to draw and run on 440 watts. But if your fan gets 45 minutes of runtime, then your fan is drawing more power of about 586 watts. So when you get a chance, test this out. And do you want runtime or do you want power? One key thing to note is that whatever power or watts your fan is designed to draw, 
it will do so regardless of what size battery you put in it. And it's because of this drawing of two times capacity or three or even four times that it's becoming more known in the industry that swappable batteries are overheating, becoming hot and damaging quickly. So later in this video series, we will show you how Blowhard has developed new technology and overcome these swappable battery challenges. So with this basic overview, you can now see how battery size really affects both power and runtime, and you can test it yourselves. Be sure to like and subscribe to know when the next two battery videos drop and to get more PPV information and education. Thanks for tuning in and take care and stay safe.